Just call me the old woman that lives with her shoes. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm doing another collection video and I'm going to be sharing with you my designer sandal collection and we're going to be here a while guys i make videos every sunday wednesday and friday so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet okay guys i have a fun collection video slash intervention video maybe you want to tell me i'm crazy down below it's all good but i wanted to share with you this is a request a video of some of my designer flats and things and i thought what I'm just going to go ahead and do some sandals, my designer sandals, and then I'll do my designer flats and some heels that I didn't share with you in my Cinderella inspired shoe collection. Yes, I have shoes that are just inspired by Cinderella, guys. Your girl has got a problem, <laughs> but she's sorry, not sorry. So this might be a little bit of a lengthy video. I'm going to go through it pretty fast. I'm not going to go into detail about the shoes necessarily. If there's a shoe that you have a question on, just put it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. But I'm just going to go through and show you some of my sandals. I do have a lot of sandals just because they're just the designer item that I wear the most. I really love wearing sandals and most of my sandals are flats. I do have a couple with the heel. So let's just get through this together, guys. Get yourself a beverage. First, these are my Kristen Dior slides that I got. Very cute, nice shoe. I've worn the crap out of them, as you can see. Super nice to wear, to totally chic. Only thing is that the Christian Dior just starts to wear on the bottom of these particular shoes, but I am impressed how they're made because I usually trip all the time and I'm not getting any chipping or anything like that with it. I'm not seeing much fraying to the embroidery here. So a very cute, well-made shoe, super comfortable. I never had any rubbing when I first got these. So a similar shoes right here. I have my Oran sandals here. These are in the beautiful purple. I'm not sure exactly what this leather is. Super comfortable shoe. I got these in the 37 and a half, which fits me best. Usually I'm a 38 in most designer shoes, but for some reason for Hermes shoes, I do usually like to size a half a size down. Super comfortable. These are such a common shoe. And I decided to get mine in purple because I found these on the secondhand market for a really great price. I definitely want to get more of this particular flat sandal, but yes, you can't go wrong with the Hermes. A ran sandal like in any color next i have my chanel slides here these are the ones with the chain detail this is in a beautiful plum color i did find these on the secondhand market in new condition i've only worn them a few times i got them at the end of the summer last year the only thing with these slides i did get them in my normal size i believe this is a 38 these are my normal size however there is some rubbing associated with these so i think i still need to break them in i think they're still breaking period the underneath is a leather so i didn't really get many i didn't get any blisters but it was just like it felt because of the chain here when you're walking there's not much give to it so i felt like a little bit of like soreness or bruising to the top part of my shoes so i really think that i need to break these in a little bit more i didn't get a chance to wear them too many times because i got them at the end of the season last year so i'm definitely going to give these more of a shot beautiful gorgeous sandal but i just don't recommend wearing them walking around shopping all day or anything like that because i did get some discomfort from the chain seriously one of my favorite shoes that i've worn the crap out of like look how worn they are are my dad sandals like i seriously can't wait to be wearing these every single day and that's what i did like literally i have all these sandals i'm gonna show you but these are the ones i wore the majority of the summer they're just so easy to put on i felt like they made everything cute and chic like sweats leggings disgusting old gross shorts that you never wear but you have to get the mail what are you gonna do you throw those on and put these on chic i i kid you not i absolutely love the dad sandals i was able to get these from <laughs> fashion file for under fifteen hundred dollars they usually retail around fifteen hundred dollars and i think it was a mispriced mark because normally they are a lot more expensive so someone put in the wrong price and i think they were meant to put in eighteen hundred dollars but they put one thousand and eighty dollars 
and they honor that price. So your girl scored. And yes, I have another pair of dad sandals. So these are the sandals I originally got. I paid retail for these. These are over $1,300. This is back when you couldn't find like any styles of dad sandals. So I went ahead and got this from my essay. I was very excited when she listed them. It has the pearl details. I have not lost any pearls. I know some people had problems with that. I've worn the crap out of these shoes. They have worn down. You can't even see the Chanel anymore, but I definitely recommend them. I mean, they're super comfortable. I wore them almost every day until I got my other dad sandals. I just really think that these are perfect and they just elevate an outfit and they're super comfortable. There's no break in period. So I really recommend these guys. They're freaking beautiful and gorgeous and they're worth your coin. And I've worn them every day and they're still looking cute, right? I also have these flats here that I haven't really worn them many times. So these are the rock stud flats. They're super cute. They're the nude and they have like this wrap around a style. Super cute. I got these new on sale, I wanna say these cost me like $200, $300. They weren't super expensive and they are a great shoe because they're nude and you can wear them. Like I imagine wearing these like spring dresses and different things like that. And I have, they look super cute when you wear them, comfortable. I didn't really have that much rubbing. Just I get, you can get a blister like on your side toe if you took them out to go like shopping or something like that. I wouldn't recommend doing that because if I wore them for a really long period of time, like walking all over the place, I would get a blister. But for the purpose of wearing them with, you know, just wanting to look cute and a nice sundress, that kind of stuff, that's what these are perfect for. I don't know if they still have this style. Again, I know people are like over the rock stud. I'm never over the rock stud, but yes, I think these are cute. They're just not something that I wear all the time. However, I didn't pay tons of money for them. I have another Hermes piece for you. These are my Hermes Oasis sandals. They're super cute. These are pretty worn down. I did get them secondhand and then I wore the crap out of them. I have since have a video on how I tried to restore them, but for some reason on the Oasis sandals, and I'm glad it's not just me because I got some comments and I was like, okay, it's not just that I'm clumsy, but I've heard that other people have the problem with the chipping on these particular sandals as well. So I don't know if it's like the quality thing or if it's just because of the shape of the shoe that they do get chips, but thank you for sharing that with me. But yes, these are super cute. Again, a very classic shoe style. However, if you just like the style, I know that there are other brands that do this particular style that you can get for a lot less and you can buy some shoes secondhand. And I found these for under $500. So definitely recommend. Next, we got my rubber Gucci's here. So these shoes here were just like an impulse buy. <laughs> It's one of those things I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And the price wasn't that bad. And I had Rakuten on it and a coupon and I had extra cash from renting. So these were like, basically they didn't cost me any money because I had some cash to burn. And I ended up getting these probably just around $300 with all the coupons and stuff. And these are the rubber Gucci's and these are cute, but they do run a little big in my opinion. They're a little wide. So if you have a narrow foot, I would maybe steer clear of these shoes, but I got them in the black. Because they are rubber, you're going to have the rubbing on the side. Like you'll see how they kind of, like that's the kind of wear you'll get. It's not super noticeable. They're not uncomfortable, but they're not like super comfortable at the same time. They are what they are. They're a rubber mule. They're a, they're a flex. They look cute. They look nice in photos, but it's just not something I would wear for long periods of time. Just because my foot is, it just kept sliding out of this which maybe I should have went for a 37 and a half, which is weird because in Gucci, like I'm usually at 38 because I have their mules and other stuff. But for some reason, this is just pretty wide in my opinion for my foot to fit in there pretty well. Next, one of my most expensive sandals with my dad sandals are these right here. So these are, I forget the exact name of these, but these are my Louis Vuitton mules and these are in the fuzzy material like seriously these are so cute i might put these on today because you do have a little fur around it super cute but not practical to wear in the summer necessarily however i did wear these as transitional shoes so i wore them in the springtime then when it got really hot it wasn't something i wore all the time but maybe i would wear it you know running errands real quick when it was cooler and then in the fall i wore it and i would put socks with it and stuff like that so i did wear it However, it's not like a traditional sandal where you can wear it in the summer or anything like that, but it is a super cute. It's comfortable. It is what it is, but it was over $1,300. And I do think that that maybe wasn't the best price for me to be spending on a sandal <laughs> that you can't really wear in the summertime. I don't know what I was thinking, but I mean, they're cute. Like 
I'm gonna wear it, I don't regret it. I like it that it's in my collection, but probably if I had really thought about it logically, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. Next, I have these Rockstar Mules. This is in a gold color and I was able to get these for a great price. I think I got here under $500, around that price on Rue La La. I really loved this type of block sandal. However, I didn't, I knew it was something I wouldn't wear all the time. So if I found a good deal, it was one of those, if I find it for a good price. And when I found these in gold, but it's like a champagne color, I figured this would look so great with any type of dress, springtime, summertime, a little cute with jeans, just a nice cute block heel. It is a metallic, so you definitely get scratches. Like I have some scratches on the back of the heel. It's going to happen. You're gonna get marks and stuff to the toes, which I have as well, but it's still beautiful. I think it looks gorgeous and I love the rock studs. Next, I have my Valentino flats. Love these. I wear these literally all the time. They're pretty worn, but I think they're still good. I mean, I don't think you can, I mean, you can tell if you look close. I'm gonna bust these out in the summer. There are some marks to the leather, but they're super comfortable. When I first got them, there is like a breaking in period. The bottom of these are harder. Like you don't have a cushion. So I do love wearing them, but it might not be something that if I'm going for a super long shopping trip that I'd wear for, because I think this hard bottom would make my foot uncomfortable. After a while, I'd probably go something with the dad sandal for a long shopping trip or going for long walks. And it's just something that is super easy. Like I love sandals because you can just, especially slides, you could just slip them on and go out the door. Whereas in the winter time, my gosh, I've got to get socks on. I gotta make sure I put my boots on. I gotta put my gloves on, my hat on. There's always this production. So I think that's why I just love sandals because I can just have them out, slip them on and look chic and just go about my business. Another pair of flats I got from Italia's are these Bottega Veneta. I can't believe I got these. <laughs> but it's one of those things like I got it for a good price and it's the raffia. So you have like this part will come undone. That's going to happen. But I just thought these are so pretty. This color is beautiful. The shape is kind of weird, but kind of beautiful. It's like that ugly, beautiful, you know, when you see those dogs and you're like, that's kind of an ugly dog, but it's so cute at the same time. Like you're like, oh, it has no fur, but it's cute. Like that's kind of what these sandals are to me. They're different. They're kind of weird, but they're kind of cool at the same time. There's no need to have these sandals, but I have them because I'm crazy. And the last two sandals I have to show you are just some heels. I have these Aquazora fringe heel pumps. These are super cute. They're in like a suede. You have this and this like wraps around your ankle. However, these are a pretty tall heel. They're a thin heel. So this is something you have to be careful. Like I wouldn't wear this on a boardwalk or anything like that. Or if you have like, you know, you're going to be walking on cobblestones or wherever you're going, just know where you're going because this is a super, thin heel, like you look at the bottom part here, you just have to be, like I wouldn't be walking on grass, all that stuff. You gotta have some skills for this type of narrow shoe. So this is something I'll wear when I'm going, going out to dinner or something like that. And I just need to go from the car to the dinner plate and then my dinner plate back to the car <laughs> and I can maneuver. But yeah, that's just the only thing with these. They have a super thin heel. I didn't pay full price for these. I think these retail right around $500, $600. I found them on the secondhand market for a little over $100. So I felt like that was a good enough deal. And when I found it for a great price, I decided to do it. I have another Impulse shoe buy for you. So that is here right here. This is another Bottega Veneta shoe. I found these in new condition from Fashion File. I have not taken these out yet. I got them in the winter time because I don't know, they were just a great price. And I thought, you know what? I need to just go for it. I loved that you have this chain that goes around here. It's the mesh, but it's not the square toe, it's this round toe, and it looks really cute on. The only thing about it, this has a strap on the inside, which I kind of wish they didn't have this strap here because it really is tight. I have like a kind of normal to narrow foot, and this does feel very tight on there, which is not something I was expecting with the mesh because again, I never try these on in store. So they're super cute on. I did get a size, is this a size 
37 and a half. So maybe I should have went with a size 38, but maybe that's why, but it does, you would think it would have to do with length and not width. And I would assume that the 38 would probably still be a little tight on there. So that's just what I recommend. If you have normal to wider foot, these are probably gonna be a little too narrow for you, but I do think these look so gorgeous and so cute on, and I got them, I think for under $600, something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's a great price because these retail over a thousand. It's one of those things. And then you have money to burn because I rent items, so I have extra extra cash just to buy luxury things. This is what happens. You get things like this that is not necessary, but necessary at the same time. Okay guys, are you still with me? Did you make it to the end? Maybe put a thumbs up emoji, something like that. Pick something fun to let me know that you made it to the end. And I probably missed some sandals. I'm like, I probably have some like in storage somewhere else that I missed, but yeah, this is what I could find currently in my collection. And I would say my sandals are the biggest in my luxury collection. I showed you my boots collection that I will put in here. I showed you my Cinderella inspired collection. I still have to do the rest of my heels that I have. And I also have my flats and sneakers. I'm just gonna put those in together. Let me know if you enjoy these collection videos. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.